Prince Harry's emotional message to rugby fans ahead of milestone event. Prince Harry has sent a heartfelt message to rugby fans ahead of the Coral Challenge Cup final on Saturday. The Duke shared an emotional message with fans ahead of tomorrow's game. Prince Harry, 36, has shared an emotional message with UK rugby fans ahead of a milestone event on Saturday. The Duke who is patron of the Rugby Football League, RFL, encouraged fans to enjoy the Coral Challenge Cup final from home on Saturday. The RFL shared Prince Harry's message on Twitter ahead of Saturday's game. Prince Harry's message read, Good luck to the Leeds Rhinos and Salford Red Devils who've earned their right to play in the Challenge Cup final this weekend. I hope the fans watching at home are able to create their own special atmosphere and make a day of it. To the incredible Rob Burrow, who is doing an amazing job raising awareness for motor neuron disease, thank you, you and your family are an inspiration. Despite having left royal life behind and resettled in the USA, Prince Harry continues to honor his ties to British organizations including the RFL. In his message, Harry wished the Coral Challenge Cup finalists Leeds Rhinos and Salford Red Devils. He also touched on his admiration for this year's chief guest in absentia, Rob Burrow. Prince Harry has been patron of the Rugby Football League since 2016. He was chief guest at last year's final and presented the Challenge Cup trophy to winners Warrington Wolves at Wembley Stadium. An avid rugby fan, last year, Prince Harry was among royal family members to attend the Rugby World Cup final in Japan. Following the game Prince Harry was photographed congratulating South Africa teammates for their win over England. Over the years Harry and his older brother Prince William have been regulars at Twickenham Stadium. In 2015, the Princes attended the Wales vs England World Cup game together. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle stepped away from their senior royal roles in March and have been based in the USA ever since. The couple have now settled into a home in Santa Barbara, California where they are expected to raise their one-year-old son Archie Harrison. While the Sussexes were expected back in Europe for royal family events this summer, the coronavirus pandemic makes their return to Britain seem unlikely for now. Since stepping away from the fold Meghan and Harry have signed a £112 million deal with streaming giant Netflix that has granted them financial independence from the royal family. As well as their highly lucrative TV deal, Meghan and Harry are on the books of public speaking agency Harry Walker and are expected to earn money giving talks. Next week the couple will co-host a special edition of Time 100 Talks on the State of Our Shared Digital Experience. Meghan and Harry are both advocates for changing the way people interact with social media which is meant to be a key focus on their new non-profit venture ArchUL. Their upcoming talk will focus on building online communities that are trustworthy, safer, and more equitable and what that means for supporting and accelerating progress on critical issues like gender equity racial justice, and climate change.